Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing a test of three different picture profiles uh, on the Sony a6300, S-Log1, S-Log2, and S-Log3. These are three of the picture profiles that Sony offers with uh, like the highest amount of dynamic range, so they are really great for color grading. They're much easier to work with than uh, other picture profiles in post because you just have a lot more room to work with. The camera shoots in a really flat, raw profile with not a whole lot of color. These three profiles record footage with very low saturation, very low contrast, uh, all that good stuff. So um, I'm going to be shooting all of these with um, zero saturation boost, zero contrast boost, and all that good stuff within the camera. Uh, it's not. I'm not going to shoot to the negatives, I'm just going to shoot just straight what the picture pro profile is. And uh, I'm going to do three of the same shots with a high amount of color. I'm going to be jumping over a dirt bike, so it'll be like the dirt bike's green. I'm wearing a red shirt, blue hat. You'll be able to see uh, how it kind of records all the different colors. And yeah, anybody looking to produce more cinematic footage with uh, a lot more room to work with should definitely be checking out these profiles. These uh, profiles kind of allow you to add your own personal touch. Like, let's say you want to bring out the blues a lot more. It's a lot easier to do that. With, the, with a flatter profile than it would be to do with what the camera normally shoots in, uh, in camera color reading. I think it's best to be able to kind of choose your own colors of what you want to pop and what you don't want to pop. Let's say you're taking a shot of somebody riding a dirt bike and you want them to really pop. And the background is like full of greens or you know like browns, whatever's on the track. And the person, uh, and the person riding the dirt bike is wearing like a, a blue jersey. You can take the blue saturation levels and pop those up a lot so the ride's gonna pop out a lot compared to the um, background of the shot and the focus will be much more on the rider than anything else. So these three profiles just give you way more to work with than anything else. Definitely worth checking out if you have a Sony camera or anything else that can shoot in a log profile. All right, so first up is gonna be S-Log1 and uh, here's that shot. Next is S-Log2. And finally, we have the flattest of the three profiles, S-Log3. All right, so that was all the ungraded footage from uh, the S-Log series that Sony offers right now. Uh, now I'll show you the footage with a simple grade on it, uh, upping the saturation and upping the contrast, all that good stuff. Um, I'm not going to get super into grading in this video, uh, probably save that for a future video if you guys are interested in it. But yeah, here's the graded footage. So out of the three, S-Log3 definitely gives you the most to work with. Um, shoots the flattest at first, but you definitely have a lot of room to bring things back. High information shots. So if you know a bunch about color grading or you know how to work with footage in post, um, definitely S-Log3 is what you should be shooting if it's available on your camera. If you're kind of just getting into color grading, don't know a whole lot about it, but kind of want to get into shooting flatter profiles, definitely check out S-Log1. Um, that way, in case you can't pull your footage back or can't quite figure it out right away, the, there's still some color information in there and the footage will still be usable. But yeah, definitely uh, more experienced people should be using S-Log2 or S-Log3, getting the flattest profile possible and having the most room to work with. S-Log3 definitely gives you the most creative freedom with the shots. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, you can leave them below. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. That'd be sweet. All right, later.